Hey there, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync iCloud to Outlook. So as soon as you add a contact or a lead to your iPhone or iPad, it can automatically be added to your Outlook account and vice versa. It's super easy and it's a great way to manage your contacts. Let me show you how to set it up. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to apination.com. And once we're on apination.com, we're gonna click Discover Connections. You're gonna see a ton of real estate apps and productivity apps here. I'm gonna scroll on down to iCloud and click on that. And then it's gonna show me all the apps I can sync iCloud to. There is Outlook, so I'm gonna click on that. All right, and you can see we have two syncs available, one that goes from iCloud to Outlook and one that goes from Outlook to iCloud. I'm gonna go ahead and set up Outlook to iCloud first, and then I'll come back and finish up with the second sync. All right, and to connect Outlook, First, I have to confirm I'm not currently using any other platforms to sync these two apps. Once I do, I'm gonna click the button to connect Outlook. I'm already logged into Outlook on this computer, so just sign me right in. Next, I'm going to connect iCloud. You can see for iCloud, it wants my Apple ID and password, but this isn't a normal password. It's asking for an app-specific password. It's a little bit different. So where do you find that app-specific password? Let me show you, it's super easy. So to find my app specific password, I'm actually gonna to have to create it. And to do that, I'm gonna to go to appleid.apple.com. And I'm gonna sign in. And it's gonna ask you to authorize using two-factor authentication. You're gonna see this pop up on your Mac or on your iPhone. And it's also gonna send a code to either your Mac or your iPhone, whichever one you're using. So there's that code, I'm gonna type it in here. And this is just to get into my Apple ID, great. Okay, so I've signed into my Apple ID, I've authorized, and now here's this box under sign in and security for app specific passwords. So I'm gonna click on that. And it says I can generate an app specific password. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna go ahead and name mine API Nation. That's what I'm connecting, and hit create. And there is that password. Be sure to copy this before you hit done because this is the only time you're actually gonna see these letters. After this, it's gonna be hidden. So I'm gonna copy that. And now I'm ready to connect iCloud on API Nation. Now that we have that app specific password, we're ready to go back to API Nation, input it, and then configure and launch. So here we go, I'm gonna type in that Apple ID. And the app specific password we just created and hit connect. All right, just a few steps left. You can see I can send over a specific folder of contact in iCloud if I'd like, or I can just leave it as default and send it regardless of the folder. We also have it set up so it'll send all the contacts as soon as you activate this sync. If you uncheck this box, it's only gonna send contacts added from today going forward. So anything you modify or add from today going forward while the sync is running, check the box and it's gonna take any contacts that are currently in your Outlook account and also sync them into iCloud. Come on down a little bit further, you can see the mapping, this all looks great. We do most of this for you, first name, last name, phone, email, this all looks great. So I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and hit activate sync. All right, so we have our first sync running. Now I'm gonna click that iCloud bubble at the top to go back to the iCloud syncs, choose Outlook again, and we're gonna set up the partner sync to complete this two-way sync. So initially, we set up the Outlook to iCloud sync. This time, we're gonna go iCloud to Outlook. So I'm gonna activate that sync. Similar setup, I can sync all the contacts on first run by checking this box. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Again, if you uncheck the box, it's only gonna sync any new contacts from today going forward. So check the box. I can sync them into a specific folder in Outlook. So if I wanted, I could go into Outlook, create a folder called iPhone or from iPhone or iPhone contacts, and then sync them into that. Or I can leave this as default and it'll just sync them into my general contacts. I'm gonna leave it as default. I also have this option to not overwrite information in Outlooks, only add information in blank fields. I'd like to select that, so I'm gonna check that box. If you uncheck this box, it's just gonna overwrite any information you have in Outlook, which could be useful if your iCloud is quite a bit more up-to-date and neater than your Outlook. 
Let's go down to mapping. Everything here looks great as well. You see anything on the left that you want synced into Outlook? Just click on it. Let's do work phone to business phone, left and then right. I can do a primary phone to mobile phone. That looks good. Let's go up to the top and hit activate sync. I'm going to click on my syncs to see both those. All right, you can see we now have two syncs up and running. Outlook going to iCloud and iCloud going back to Outlook. So that's how you set up the iCloud to Outlook two-way sync. It's an easy way to manage your contacts so that anytime you add a lead to any of those apps, it'll automatically get synced into the partner app. If you have any questions or ideas or would like some guidance as you set this up, just give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation connecting the world's applications. We love doing this stuff.